Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use your uh, Inspire to find the area of a region bounded by two curves. So this calculus thing. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know, graph two curves. So let me graph one that I'm confident I can find multiple intersection points for. Um, so let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with that. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just add uh, y equals x. Okay, so you can see there's actually two regions that are bounded. There's this region in here, and then there's this region over here. Um, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to change the window a little bit, um, and I'm also going to hide that because it's in the way. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find the intersection point. So what I'm going to do, I'm, there's two ways to do that. You can do it by analyzing the graph, intersection. It's going to give you one at a time, and that's annoying. Um, a better option is to go uh, menu and then 8 for geometry and then 1 for points and lines and then 3 for intersection points. What that does is you pick two curves and it finds uh, pretty much, uh, there can be problems if there's too many intersections, like trig functions, uh, but it finds the intersections that are on the screen at the time you do it. And that's a good idea. Okay, so now that I've done this, uh, what I want to do is I'm press menu and go to analyze graph. And now option 8 uh, instead of being analyzed conics is bounded area. So I'm going to click that and what you do is uh, I'm going to move the cursor until I'm on this point and click it from a lower bound and I'll just find the area bounded between the two curves uh, on this interval here. So click again. Uh, it finds it and sometimes it's hard to find where it puts it. it puts it right up there. Uh, so I get that uh, and then I can repeat it. So I go to menu and then 6 and then option 8 I can get this second region here, go over here, and you can see it put it at the bottom here. So that's the area of the second region. Um, and if I wanted the total area bounded between the two, so I mean, obviously I can add these, I could store those and then add them on a calculator screen. Um, but what's interesting is if I do this, I'm gonna go from uh, leftmost point, and you can watch the area kind of accumulate. And you'll notice that it's still accumulating. So what it's doing, it's doing this correctly. Um, it has, I guess, something built in where it picks the top function and the bottom function. Which is probably not that hard to do. Um, if I click again, it gives me this, which is, you can kind of check it in your head. That's what I would get if I added up those two. Um, so that's how you're going to do this. Uh, it's super easy. And, uh, you know, make good use of it. I hope you found this helpful and uh, good luck.